If you want some art supplies, you would usually just go to your local store, but because everything is closed down because of a Chinese village, you might have to go to the woods and pick out some, you know, some sticks. But before I work with them, I will put on some gloves so I don't catch any tapeworms or something. And I will not do anything overly fancy with these pens, uh, I think. Uh, or these sticks. Uh, I think everyone as a child, you know, if you had a pocket knife or any knife at all and you were outside a lot, you would just, you know, sharpen the, the sticks to, you know, to a pointy tip. And that's what I used to do and that was so much fun. And I thought, let's try to, you know, create some dip pens with them basically, you know, to just to dip into um, some some black ink and see how well they draw after I got rid of um, the bark on the outside, again, tapeworms and stuff, uh, I decided to give it a little test. Uh, and I was surprised, you know, I thought that this was going to be like, you know, basically a waste of time. But I was surprised that, you know, the wood actually held quite a lot of ink. And um, yeah, it created some crisp and smooth lines. Of course, you had to dip it a lot, but it worked. and. Yeah, so I wanted to see what else I can do with it. But yeah, we will see some more drawings after the intro. Now before I talk about the drawings that I'm doing here, uh, let me just quickly shout out my Instagram, I'm currently doing a giveaway there. So if you're interested in that, just check it out, it's down in the description. As I was preparing my little wooden dip pen, I, you know, I've, I thought a lot about what I should actually draw with it. Um, I mean, definitely nothing too big because you have to re-dip it, re it quite often. But, you know, the most obvious thing, of course, was to just draw some trees. And so I created some wood with the wood. Yes. <laughs> since this pencil comes... Or it's not pencil, it's not a pencil, it's a dip pen. Since this pen comes from the woods, it was obvious to just draw some trees with it. And trees are a really nice exercise because you can, you know, you can freehand them. You don't need to look at any reference. Of course, you know, at the beginning you should. And I was, you know, looking at some some trees online for inspiration, but I didn't try to copy them. But it's always good to, you know, just observe plants and trees, especially the way they grow. And I, I got really good at drawing uh, at drawing trees, mainly if I if I draw them with like an actual um, an actual fine liner or an ink pen. Uh, in this case, I was a little bit limited with my, with my, uh, with my DIY dip pen, <laughs> but, um, but I, it went way better than I expected. I expected it to, um, to be kind of messy and, uh, and for the lines to be, you know, way too, way too thick or the wood not being able to, you know, pick up enough ink. But hey, I have to say it worked quite well. Maybe I should have like, um, you know, sealed off the the wood at the tips so that it, uh, you know, didn't, that it doesn't dry so quickly. I probably should have done that, but, you know, in the end it just worked out fine. Now the wood that I was using was um, not not that old. Uh, I was trying to, you know, get some some fresher wood because then it would be a little bit more flexible than, you know, some old wood. But I also didn't want to, you know, cut off some uh, some wood from living trees. And so I was looking around for some some branches that have recently just fallen off a tree or were broken off by some animal or whatever. And I was quite kind of lucky. The pen was really... Uh, I mean, the wood was really fresh. Now, as I hold it in my hands, it's a little bit, you know, it's actually really dried up now. It's pretty hard, but when I was using it for this video, the nib 
or the tip of it was really flexible because I sharpened it to a to a tip to a point um, on the inside of course the wood was um, a little bit more moist than uh, on the outside and so and so the tip of it was really flexible that was that was really cool but after all I really like these experiments I think it's great to try out um, unusual stuff like that you know you don't always have to draw with a with a fine liner or or a production made um, pen it's so cool to just do stuff yourself and then you know it's going to be a little bit more you know special and I, I like these drawings there are no masterpieces uh, if you look at some of my other drawings you know that it's not usually my style uh, but yeah just a really cool experience I'm thinking about doing some more videos like this um, but of course with a little bit better equipment you know like not just a, a, a pointy stick but basically um, to put some more effort into uh, into making something really cool and I have a, I have made a lot of cool pens in the past I have to say not not pens like this not just some simple uh, pointy stuff but some really cool pens where you can you know actually um, that actually have a ballpoint tip um, some really cool stuff maybe I'm going to showcase them in the future and I'm going to show how to how to make one so stay tuned for that but yeah, drawing these trees was such a relaxing uh, experience, you know, just zoning out a little bit with my little pointy stick <laughs> and, um, you know, just letting go a, a little bit and not worrying about proportions and being anatomically correct. Um, nothing like that. So just really cool. But that was just one of many, um, you know, arty things I do here on this channel. So if you're interested in my channel, subscribe to it. And I will definitely upload some more. Man, I'm I'm really happy about every single subscriber I get. Um, yeah, I celebrate every single one that I get because well, it's just nice to see that people appreciate what I do. So definitely check out my Instagram. Uh, also for the giveaway, it's linked down in the description. Uh, consider giving the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's so nice to see that people, you know, actually, um, even though it's only a few, uh, that some people actually see what I'm doing. That motivates me and keeps me going. So, really cool. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye.